favorites. My overall favorites. I could use it as a weapon too. You know, not planning on doing that. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my November favorites here for you today. So I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites like I normally do. And then I have some makeup-y favorites, I have some hair stuff, and I have some fashion favorites to mention to you guys. So yeah. Lots to chat about, so let's get to it. For overall Friday favorites for eyes, these are definitely the standouts to me. First is the Studio Makeup On The Go Eyeshadow Palette. I got this in my BoxyCharm this month. This is amazing. It is just such great quality, amazing pigmentation, blends like a dream. Love this palette so much. And then I also was really enjoying these little L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palettes, two standouts that I mentioned this month that I really enjoyed. This is 104 French Biscuit, and this is 106 Boudoir Charm, and they are just such nice quality. Don't get the blue one, but other than that, the ones I've tried, I've been really impressed with. For cheeks, I couldn't choose between these two. This is the CoverGirl Classic Color Blush in Soft Mink, and it's just a gorgeous everyday color, if I can get it open to show you. <laughs> It's just a gorgeous everyday color. Clearly I don't use the brush. It still has the little plastic around it, but it's just beautiful. It goes with everything. If you wanna see swatches of these products, check out my Friday favorites because I've already mentioned them. So I'm just like giving you my overall favorite, favorite, my overall favorites. <laughs> oh dear. And then this is the L'Oreal True Match blush and this is in C34 Tender Rose. This is such a beautiful, everyday, slightly glowy sort of a pink. It's beautiful, such nice quality. I really like those blushes a lot. For lips, I couldn't choose between these either, so I would say these are all overall monthly favorites for me. First are the Maybelline Color Blurs. I think these are awesome. They're easy, they're pigmented, they wear a long time. I love the reds in Cherry Cherry Bang Bang and Partners in Crimson. And then this darker color is Plum Please. These are just awesome and so easy. Like they're just an easy sort of lip product. Love the Ofra Vintage Vineyards Collection. I just can't stop with this. I think it's amazing. I think they're gorgeous. I've loved pretty much every color. Um, I don't think I've really worn this one. This is Bordeaux, super, super dark, but I've worn this one. This is Napa Valley. This is the one that's kind of like metallic -y. I'm wearing um, Tuscany right now. They're just gorgeous. I love them. And I was just all about the highlighter this month. So these are definite standouts to me. First are the Makeup Geek highlighters. This one is in Daybreak and this is a beautiful peachy color. This is amazing. So pigmented. The formula is perfect on these. They just blend like a dream. They wear like a dream. They can be built up. They're just gorgeous. I'm wearing Psychedelic, which is an amazing dual chrome. These are so good. You gotta try them. And then this is one of the Moonplay Cosmetics Stroboscope Hyper Flash Powders. This is in Vow. This is beautiful too. I swatched this in a Friday Favorites. It's just a gorgeous sparkly pink. It does have shimmer in it, but it's really, really, really tiny. So, it's not chunky glitter on your face. It just catches the light beautifully. Love it. But if you don't like shimmer, this one may not be for you. I don't know if they all have the micro shimmer in it, but I feel like even if, I feel like a lot of people that are normally not a fan of shimmer would still be totally okay with it because it's so, so tiny and finely milled and it just, woo, it just makes you look like a glowing goddess. It's amazing. And some makeup-y slash primer favorites that I have not mentioned in Friday favorites. First off, this is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, and it says Blemishless. Has my name on it because I got it in gratis from Sephora, but I really hadn't really heard a lot about this, and it's just one of those kind of overlooked products to me. I know a lot of people really like the Laura Mercier primers, but this one specifically, I don't know if I've really ever paid much attention to it. So when I got it in gratis, I was like, oh, okay, I'm excited to try this. So I started trying it and I pretty much worn it almost every single day this month. I'm so impressed with this. It's not like, let me just read what it says. It says blemishless is a lightweight water-based gel that creates the perfect canvas for makeup application while improving the appearance of blemishes and controlling breakthrough shine. So 
it really just like perfects your skin and gets it ready for foundation. But I found that my foundation is lasting longer, um, going on more smoothly, and I really haven't had breakouts. I'm, thank goodness, don't really get those very much. So I didn't really notice like anything out of the ordinary as far as like more blemishes. So I don't know, I just really, really like this. And I really like the texture of it. I think it's because that water, it's that water-based sort of a formula. So it's not, um, it's just not that kind of like heavy, thick, silicone-y feeling sort of a primer. It's very, very light and gel-like. So nice. Just love it. So I've been wearing that almost every single day this month and I'm just really impressed with it. And as far as foundation goes, I wore this a lot this month and really, really enjoyed it. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen and I have it in Terre Neuve, T-E-R-R-E-N-E-U-V-E -E -E Light Zero. And this is actually a little bit light and a little bit yellow tone for my skin, but I've tried the next ones and those really don't work for me either. So color wise, this isn't like perfect. There's not like a perfect match for me, but formula wise, I really like it. I'm wearing it today. It just gives your skin like a velvety look, like velvet matte, I think is a good description and name for it because it just perfects your skin, smooths everything out. It's very kind of almost powdery, but almost a little bit velvety, like powdery velvety, I would say is a good way of kind of explaining it. But I don't feel like it makes my skin look overly dry either, but it helps control the oil throughout the day. So I'm impressed with it. I wouldn't call it a skin tint because it has really good coverage on it. I would say like medium coverage, but I'm just impressed with how it looks on the skin, that it looks very skin-like and velvety, but also how it wears throughout the day. It doesn't break down. Um, I do get a little bit shiny, but not super shiny. So really liking the wear time, really liking the finish on this. And then I have a tool favorite this month. This is a brush from Cosette. This is the D220 brush. I got this from Makeup Show, and I have been using this pretty much every single day to apply my crease color. I just love it because it's skinny and pointed and just a perfect crease brush shape, at least for my eyes that, you know, have hooded small eyes. So I need something that's a small brush that's not going to like poof product everywhere. And this doesn't do that. It really is very precise with its application, but it's also really nice and soft. So it blends the product well too. So it applies it well, it applies it accurately, like where you place it, but also it blends it out well just because of the texture of the actual brush hairs. So really, really like this. I love how it's like kind of like a pointy. I like the look of it. It's like a really pretty purple, but then it's like a pointy, like I could use it as a weapon too. You know, not planning on doing that, but I just, like the shape of it. I think it's a cool looking brush that works well. A definite hair care favorite this month. This is the Arrow Body Infusion. This is by Tri Professional Hair Care. This is the Spray In Volumizer. My mom got this from her hairdresser, so I will try to find this somewhere and link it for you. Um, but this is really, really good. So, you know, I mentioned to you guys that this is like a newfound love of mine, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I feel like this just really gives my hair thickness and I just love the way it makes my hair feel. It gives it some like texture and thickness to work with. But there was one day that I forgot to use, so I've been kind of using these in conjunction. I was thinking it was more this and I think this is a big part of it. But then one day I forgot to use this and I could tell a difference. So I think it's the combo of these two. This is just a spray sort of a product. So I spray it up mainly on my roots, but also down on my hair too, and just really rub it in. Just work the product in, not rub it in, but like work it into my hair. And I feel like it just gives great volume and texture and thickness to my hair. These two help with the thickness. And then there was one day that I forgot my mousse and I could tell a difference too. So I think this is also a big part of my hair working well is my mousse, which is the Not Your Mother's Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. So I've loved this for a long time. Um, and I do feel like that's a great mousse for my hair texture. But then once I started using these, these are like standout, wow products for giving volume and thickness to my hair, to my fine, fine hair. And lastly, I have some jewelry I wanna to mention to you. So this is all from Jamelli Jewelry. 
I love their stuff. They make the most beautiful jewelry pieces. So first off, I have this necklace. It's got the really pretty druzy at the bottom. Love that. And then the different colored beads here. This one, so this one I got this year at a craft fair, and then this one I got last year at a craft fair. So it's got the different beads here, and then the blue druzy. So gorgeous. They have all different colors. But then they also have chokers, and then they have like these kind of tassel ones too with the little wrapped metal-y things at the bottom with the metal in the middle. So gorgeous. So this one's really pretty by itself, but it's also really gorgeous layered with a druzy necklace. So I have a black druzy. Um, I've shown pictures on Instagram of layering them together. They just work so well together. They're so, so beautiful. Now I purchased them at craft fairs because they usually have like a discounted price, like pretty significantly discounted. So they are a little bit more pricey online, but they're so pretty. Their pieces are so gorgeous. So I would say, you know, either if you purchase them online or if you look up if they're going to be at a craft fair or something, they just make beautiful jewelry. So that's been a standout for me. Definitely Jamelli. I've also been really loving my wrap bracelets. I actually have two here. So they are five wraps. So I have two five wraps on my wrist right now. I have kind of like a more sort of brownie, pearly one, and then I have kind of more of a bronzy, coppery one. So I love them by themselves, but I also love them layered together. They're incredible. These are by Wrapped to Wear. I will link them down below for you guys. They make just the best wrapped bracelets because they make them right. <laughs> like I bought, um, wrap bracelets like this before at other craft fairs and I don't know if they get wrapped too tightly or they feel either they start to twist on themselves or they feel scratchy. These are not scratchy at all and they don't start like twisting at all. They stay flat. They are just really, really well made and they pick the colors so nicely. They have all different colors. So they have neutral colors. They have like turquoise. They have blue. They have, you know, red, greens, like cool earthy sort of um, ones all paired together. Just beautiful. They make the prettiest wrap bracelets. So if you like wraps that just like kind of, you know, you wrap them around or whatever, I think you love these. They are just my favorites. They're awesome. They make the best wrap bracelets. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this month. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this month. Either your makeup favorites, your hair care favorites, your fashion favorites, your favorite um, handmade jewelry artists. I love handmade jewelry. So if you have some favorites, definitely let me know about them down below. Um, ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!